Welcome back to another look at the developments of Planetside 2. This video is both a first impressions but also a call to arms for those people wanting to see the future of this game for themselves. Rel, a developer, tweeted entertainingly enough on April Fool's Day that the latest update on the PTS included the long-awaited DirectX 11 implementation. Or at least I'm guessing the first pass at it, as I'm sure there will be a bunch of follow-up work and more on that in a second. So just in case people are still thinking this is somehow an elaborate April Fool's joke, in some of the footage of this video I've included an FPS counter and an overlay from a package that I sometimes use to capture game video. So if you look to the top left you'll see a black box. Inside that there's a readout showing performance, but also a small display for what graphics technology is being used for that particular game. You can clearly see that the live PS2 build is DX9 and the PTS is using DX11. We are officially living in the future. Or at least, like I said, the first go at the future, it's not all plain sailing. There are some notable bugs. I've had a bunch of crashes, seemingly at random, seen some visual artifacts too, mainly destroyed vehicles that are sticking around, some particle oddness, some aliasing along some edges of things, weird UI flashing on one occasion as well. That's all to be expected though, I can't imagine how much work went into actually getting to this point where we have a working running build. There's also a thread on Reddit where people are compiling a list of bugs they're finding too. I'll link it in the description if you want to contribute and be a thoroughly nice person. I did still wonder where we were on the topic that everyone obviously wonders about, which is performance. And as many PS2 veterans will tell you, it's not until you have large-scale battles that things really become text. There's a whole host of things that happen with network traffic and prediction logic and animation syncing and untold other systems that combine with the visuals to create that system load. Being the PTS, that's the one thing that we also struggle to replicate, those huge numbers of players. So the devs are planning some organised tests when as many people as possible can coordinate some testing and generate some proper, realistic conditions. That didn't stop me from doing some blank tests though. Some of them are more holistic, like how does it feel, but also some others slightly more data-driven. I went to Coltier, Coltire, Colt, I, st I still don't know how to say that, I stood in the same point, in the same direction on the map, in both live and in PTS, tested both low and ultra presets, with motion blur disabled because, you know, come on. And this is the difference that I saw. On low preset, and with a restart included every time, my frame rate went from 80 FPS on live to 120 FPS on the PTS using DX11. On ultra, my frame rate went from 72 FPS on live to 82 FPS on PTS using DX11. So I saw a 50% performance increase using low, and around a 14% increase on ultra. There were variances there of course, I can't control the time of day, so things like shadow coverage will skew the numbers and so on. Also my system is old, it's an aging Xeon CPU at about 4.2GHz and a Nvidia 970 GPU. If you replace your system in the past couple of years you will undoubtedly see better performance. It wouldn't surprise me if those two increased performance figures bookended the kind of gains that people will see once this actually hits live. 14% would seem a bit on the low side, 50% seems almost wildly optimistic, and if it settles somewhere in between, I'll be happy. Subjectively, playing on Ultra feels really smooth. There's a definite lack of hitching or stuttering, even when moving from one area to another quickly and trying to sort of provoke the asset streaming and culling that all-important frame consistency feels really good. But we are off the ground and running, DX11 is here for us to see and to try for ourselves, though more realistic testing must be performed, and I do plan to be online for those and report back my findings as soon as possible. Please do consider jumping in to the PTS yourself and helping out. Simply turning up and shooting some mans can help the devs see how this new page in the history of Planetside 2 is shaping up. I'll link the forum thread to download the PTS in the description below as well. If you've already tried the PTS, what is your experience like? What performance increases have you seen? Do you think they should let people earn the Analyst Helmet again by participating in these large-scale tests? Let me know all your thoughts by leaving a comment below right now, I'll be reading every single one of them. Please do leave some feedback, a thumb up if you liked it, perhaps even tap the sub button and ring the bell icon if you want to know more about how the future of PS2 is shaping up. I don't post videos every day, so I promise not to fill up your sub notification feed. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time. Take care.